Good morning from Disney's Caribbean Beach. I just woke up not too long ago, kind of washed my face, got myself ready for the day, and now I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do for breakfast, if anything at all. I'll be completely honest with you, after our dinner last night, which was so good, I am still stuffed this morning. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna grab breakfast right away, or maybe we'll get something before we leave. It's very TBD, but I did wanna to talk to you a little bit about dining options here at Disney's Caribbean Beach. More specifically, what dining options are right at your fingertips? Because we know that Disney's Caribbean Beach has Centertown Market, it has Spyglass Grill, so those are the two quick service options here. There's the bar, that's Banana Cabana, and then there's Sebastian's Bistro. So there are a lot of dining options available at this resort, but, don't let that fool you into thinking that those are the only options available because you have a secret weapon if you're staying at this resort and that is the Disney Skyliner. So the Disney Skyliner is Disney's newest form of transportation and it's free, it's available to guests staying at Walt Disney World Resort hotels as well as guests just visiting the Walt Disney World Resort. All you have to do is make your way to a station, hop on, and then you can be at any number of locations. Now we've talked about the Disney Skyliner before. I will put a link in the description down below so you can check out that video. I do have a love-hate relationship with the Skyliner for a number of reasons. It, you know, it can go down, it's hot, it's up in the air and swings around. Like there are a number of things that I don't really care for when it comes to the Skyliner, but there are so many great things about the Skyliner that it's hard not to love it. And one of the reasons that I absolutely love the Skyliner, and I think that it's great that it was added to the Walt Disney World Resort, is that it opens up this whole new mode of transportation that's continuously moving for the most part to guests staying at value and moderate locations. Now value resorts and moderate resorts normally have very limited transportation options. More often than not, it's just a bus. But this changed when Disney introduced the Skyliner. And now if you're staying at one of the Skyliner resorts, some of which are values, Pop Century and Art of Animation, there's the moderate, Caribbean Beach, and then there are the deluxe resorts that have Skyliner access. That would be Disney's Riviera Resort, Boardwalk, Beach Club, Yacht Club, technically Swan and Dolphin too, if you want to add those in. Those are not Disney owned and operated, but you do have access to the Skyliner. If you're staying at one of those resorts and have Skyliner access, you have really easy access to those resorts. And you might be wondering, like, why does that matter? Well, let me tell you, having Skyliner access, which is easy and continuously moving for the most part, like I mentioned, gives you the ability to easily get to those other resorts and enjoy some of their amenities. Of course, you can't pool hop, not a thing here at Walt Disney World anymore, but you can go to the resorts and enjoy the resort even if you're not staying there. And I mean, we've talked about this a little bit before, but I especially wanna talk about it when it comes to Disney's Caribbean Beach and when it comes to dining options because that Skyliner access, as well as Disney's Riviera Resort being right across the way, opens you up to so many great options. So first of all, like I said, Caribbean Beach has all of its delicious options available to you, but you also have Disney's Riviera Resort right across the way. And while I'm not a huge fan of Disney's Riviera Resort, there are a few things that are undeniable. Number one, they have one of the best and most unique quick service options available on Walt Disney World property. So you can just walk right over from Disney's Caribbean Beach to the quick service located at Disney's Riviera Resort and have some delicious options, especially for breakfast. But I mean, the lunch and dinner options are fantastic as well. And with the Riviera in particular, especially if you're staying at Disney's Caribbean Beach, you have such easy access. In fact, the room that I'm staying in right now, 5540, which is in the Aruba section of the resort, is closer to Disney's Riviera Resort than it is to the food and dining options at Disney's Caribbean Beach. We are so incredibly close. But if you're staying next to the Caribbean Beach Skyliner Station, you are super close to the Riviera too. All you have to do is jump on the Skyliner and take it across to the Riviera Station, and then you're right there at the resort. So that's another great dining option. Of course, there's a coffee shop there at the Riviera. There's also a Joffrey stand right next to the Caribbean Beach Skyliner Station. So two coffee options, plus technically a third located in Old Port Royal because you can get coffee in there too. So there are a lot of additional options just right here on Caribbean Beach property, which 
by the way, Disney's Riviera Resort technically does sit on what used to be Disney's Caribbean Beach, so it is so close. Like, it is incredibly close. Of course, there's also a table service location over at Riviera as well, so that opens up the ability to do a character dining meal right here, super close to your resort, and that's great. I've heard it's wonderful. I haven't had the opportunity to eat there yet. It's on the list. It is hard to get into, so plan accordingly for that if that's something you want to do. But those are just your options right here within walking distance. If we get on the Disney Skyliner, we have an entirely different set of options available to us. Of course, all of them are accessible right through Disney's Caribbean Beach Skyliner Station, which is the hub for the Skyliner. So basically you can go there and that's where you split off to a number of different locations. So if you go to the Caribbean Beach Station, you can go to Riviera, which will take you to Epcot. You can also get on the Skyliner there and go to Art of Animation, which has some great playgrounds and is great to walk around, or Pop Century. Both of them also have food courts, so they have some different options. I don't necessarily know that I'd go out of my way to get food at either of these resorts if I didn't want to experience the resorts themselves, but nonetheless, it's an option that is available to you. You can also take the Skyliner from the Caribbean Beach Station over to Disney's Hollywood Studios. There are no dining options over there without going into the park, so we're not gonna mention it today. But of course, if you have a park ticket, maybe you have a park hop or you wanna go into the park and eat something there, that option is available to you. But let's make our way back over to Epcot for a second because one thing a lot of people don't necessarily realize is that when you take the Skyliner to Epcot, you're not taking it to the front of the park, you're taking it to the back of the park known as the International Gateway. And that's where the Epcot area resorts are as well as Disney Swan Dolphin and Swan Reserve. So just as a bit of a reminder, we're talking about the Yacht Club. Yachtsman Steakhouse is over there. We also have Ale and Compass, two great dining options. Ale and Compass does have a mobile order option available, so you don't even have to sit down for a table service for that one. Great option. Then we have Beach Club, which has Beaches and Cream, that iconic ice cream shop that has that kitchen sink. I know you guys have heard all about that. It's a huge sundae. They also serve more than ice cream. You can have regular meals there as well. They do have a window where you can get milkshakes and stuff if you don't want to do table service, so that's another great option. Of course, Yacht Club and Beach Club do have quick service, dining, grab-and-go options in their marketplaces, so that's available for mobile order. You can just walk up and grab some stuff there as well. In that same area, we have Disney's Boardwalk. And at the Boardwalk, we have so many food options. There's the Boardwalk Deli, which has some delicious sandwiches and pastries. It's a great place to grab something, not only that you can eat right now, but you can bring with you maybe into the parks or back to your room. Really great options there. I like to grab a bunch of pastries because they're very reasonably priced, bring them back to my room and have breakfast every day. There's Flying Fish, which is a table service restaurant. There's Jelly Rolls, which is a piano bar. There's actually a club out there, like a dance hall so you can go enjoy that. There's Abracadabra Bar, which is a magic themed bar and the list goes on. And that's just if we talk about dining. Of course, there is the coffee shop that's over there, Carousel Coffee located in the lobby. There's live entertainment, there's carnival games, there's music. It's a great place to go hang out just in general. So put that on your list of things to do if you happen to be at a Skyliner Resort and you just want to go hang out somewhere you don't want to go into the parks of course you can go into epcot right there if you have a park hopper you have a ticket and you want to go and get some food from there that's easy to do you will be entering through the international gateway which means you have access to that fish and chip shop really quickly and all the great food over in the france pavilion that's if you just want to dip in and dip out without going around world showcase so lots of great options there as well finally we have the swan dolphin and swan reserve now we don't talk too much about these because they're they're not Disney owned and operated, but they're fantastic options. I personally haven't had the chance to explore all of the dining options over at the Swan Dolphin and Swan Reserve, but when staying at the Swan, I was frequenting Java, which is their coffee shop, and they have some sandwiches and small bites as well. That's a great option, affordable, easy to get to. They do have some interesting stuff. It's different, but also they have some familiar options like Mickey waffles as well. I personally think it's worth heading over there if you happen to be in the area. Of course, you can get there really easily from the Skyliner. You can hop on a boat so you don't even have to walk and that boat will take you directly to the Swan and Dolphin. The Swan Reserve is across the street so that's a, a bit more of a walk but 
it's still easily accessible. Of course, Blue Zoo is over there, which is known for being a fantastic restaurant. There's also a new restaurant, I can't remember the name, that just recently opened up over there. So great options available if you want to try that out too. So I know we just breezed over some of this stuff and it's a bit overwhelming because there are so many options, but that's the point that I'm trying to get at is staying here at Disney's Caribbean Beach, being right next to the Skyliner, having easy access to the Skyliner gives you very easy access to all of those places. So if you're pulling up your phone and you're like, oh, I don't really like anything on the menu at Caribbean Beach. Maybe you've stayed here for a few days and you wanna try something new because you've been eating a lot right here at the Centertown Market or at the dining options that are available here. You have so many choices available to you and it's really not difficult to get to them. So that's something that's really important to keep in mind if you're considering where you wanna stay and you're thinking about Caribbean Beach but you're wondering if it's worth the extra money. It could be, it very much could be for you. But let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know how you feel about having access to all of these places right from the Skyliner in the comments down below. Also tell me if you've had food at any of these resorts. Pop Century, Art of Animation, Riviera, Caribbean Beach, Swan, Dolphin, Swan Reserve, Yacht Club, Beach Club, or Boardwalk. Tell me about it. Which was your favorite? Should we go to any of your favorite options? Would you recommend them? Do you want to see a video about them? tell us in the comments. But I think we're gonna leave the conversation there. Of course, if you thought this was interesting, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It lets us know that you like what we're doing here. Subscribe if you haven't already, and check the description because we have a link there to our transportation guide that will help you get around Walt Disney World with a little bit more ease, and that's gonna help you figure out how to navigate the Skyliner as well. Again, more information in the description. But that's all for now. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.